In this video, I'm going to show you the new best blitz in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you want to get my full dollar three G six, we're we'll talking about the dollar uh, defense in this video. If you want to get my full uh, defense V book on this dollar three two six defense, make sure that you are in our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of my Madden twenty three offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we release while your membership is active. So again, if you want to sign up, the link is in the description below. And today we're talking about a really, really popular, uh, or at least increasing in popularity blitz that has come out of dollar that i wanted to break down for you guys here on the youtube channel now our ebook has even better pressures than what i'm about to show you but this blitz is really good especially if your opponent um, is consistently sending five out this is a really really good defense so you can really call it out of honestly anything i think it's best out of either cover one robber or cover two man uh, so we're going to show it to you <coughs> excuse me out of cover two man and the setup for the blitz is actually really simple um, essentially we're going to create kind of a natural, not even natural, but kind of a organic disengage, uh, through alignment. So what we're going to do is we're going to press our defense and then we're going to take this linebacker right here. We're going to go ahead and QB, we're going to move him just outside and then we're going to QB contain. As you can see, what I like to do is stand about right here with my user. Uh, and then you can kind of do your adjustments however you want to. Uh, typically this is a blitz where they're going to kind of need to block the running back to pick it up. So if the running back is not going to go, if, if the running back is going to go on a route, then I'm going to go guard him. And as you can see, we're going to get this little looping disengage, uh, from this defensive end. So again, really simple. Now you can sub in safeties and make this even better, um, because they're going to have, you know, you just have faster players, uh, that can get, you know, obviously better animations and coverage. It can also just get to the quarterback faster as well. Um, you know, so we're going to put Parsons down at the D end. And then, you know, another thing you can do uh, with Dollar is you can shift your linebacker to the left. And then again, you're just containing. So notice that we just want to run him off so that he is on the contain. That's the idea. And then we're just going to stand kind of right in here. And as you see, it creates a disengage. Now, it's not going to work every single time. Um, but it is pretty effective when it does come in. And again, you're only sending three. Now, another thing you can do is just move this guy just a little bit. You see we're going to be able to create that loop angle. And as you can see, that's going to create a really, really good disengage. So, again, all I'm doing is I'm going to press. I'm going to shift my linebackers to the right. You can shift your defensive line uh, that way, too. Or shift the – shift the. Um, I'm sorry, the, the linebackers to the running back side. We're going to QB contain, and then we're just going to move this guy just a step. And now you see he's on the contain, and it creates this really natural loop that is really effective. Now, the other thing that's – the main reason this is so good is this is really more so a coverage defense um, than anything. And if you notice here, we can get a nice press animation on everybody on the bunch side by shifting our line to the running back side. So you see, not only can we blow up the run, we can shoot the run here as well, but we can also still get this loop disengage and then you can get this really nice press coverage. It makes this defense really, really, really powerful. Now, because Parsons is activated, I'm going to go ahead and run commit just because um, the animations aren't going to work exactly identical. You don't want to have any X factors on your D-line because it, it does mess up uh, some of the animations that we can get with this. Okay? Now, uh, just for fun, I want to show you something. You can take this safety, and you can bring him off of the edge as well. This is a universal concept. So you can kind of stand right about here. You'll see here that we're going to still get that disengage, as you can see. This is a disengage. It's a disengage that's been effective all year long, uh, but it is growing in popularity because you're only having to send four. Now, um, you can, if you want to, um, drop that defensive end on the right side into a hard flat or something if you wanted to. You really only need these two people blitzing to get that little loop. Um, I will say it's most effective, though, if you send four. And also, the other thing I want to say is if you're going to send um, if you're going to send four, you want to once you contain. Um, I think it makes a lot of sense to just re blitz this linebacker. So you see here, I'm going to bring this guy down. I'm going to contain him, but then I'm going to go ahead and manually re blitz that defensive end so that he's blitzing. That way, he will shed if for whatever reason the disengage doesn't come in. Okay, so that way you're still going to get really good sheds from the from the play as well. Now, I um, also want to illustrate this um, with Spinner. So if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is Spinner. Uh, what you want to do is you want to spread your defensive line. Um, we're going to then crash our defensive line down, and you can slide this corner 
off of the edge as well. Now you're not going to get the really nice uh, press animation that we were able to get on that on the tight end, but you still have a chance to get this disengage even with something like this. You'll see right here, see how he loops around, and you get the, um, the really nice passive pressure from this formation. This formation is absolutely incredible in my opinion. Um, again, like I said, you can, do, you can bring this safety down, right, if you wanted to. You can bring the safety down off the edge just like this. And he doesn't even have to be like on the line of scrimmage to get the loop, right? You can, you can get that just by the natural um, fact that the safety is on the contain. That's really all we're trying to do. Um, so you'll see here, if I blitz the safety, I'm just going to walk him down to about where he's going to be on the contain. If he'll cooperate with me, I need to recontain, sorry. So you see here, see I can just kind of walk him down to about this angle right here. So it doesn't look like there's any pressure coming. And then you'll see this thing will loop around just like that. This is a really glitchy blitz. Now, um, we haven't talked much about pass protection. But like I said, this is going to force, um, let me go ahead and run commit. Um, this is going to force them to have to block, um, you know, at least a running back, okay, to pick this up. So when they're only sending four routes out and you're dropping, you know, seven, eight people in coverage, that is great. Um, so here I'm going to block my running back. And we're just going to bring this guy out here just like we were. And then we're going to click off of him. And we'll just show you what this defense looks like if they do block the running back. Um, you'll see right here, sometimes this will loop around the running back. In, in, in my experience, blocking running backs not 100% consistent to pick this up. So that's what makes part of what makes this blitz so good. Uh, play action is going to do a little better job, in my opinion, at picking this up. Um, but there you see again, there's that loop. Just I mean, it just it's a problem, and it's something they have to respect. Um, the best way to pick it up is to have a tight end uh, be you know kind of over in the area of where the looper is. That's the best way that I know um, how to consistently pick this up. Because here you see there's blocked running back. That time you see how he kind of disengages through the line a lot. That happens pretty consistently. So um, anyways, I just wanted to break this defense down. Uh, just do a quick video on this. If you want to get my full dollar ebook, it has a lot more, and in my opinion, a lot more effective stuff than just this blitz. It has a whole defensive scheme behind it. Um, you can get that by joining our Patreon for just 10 bucks. But as you can see, when you get this thing to go, it really does go well. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full dollar 326 defensive ebook, make sure you become a member of our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. I'm also going to be updating the dollar ebook in the coming uh, days as well because there's some new stuff that I'm doing out of this formation that I think is pretty effective. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.